have the infinite tower the one that you probably remember for mo from most of those idle rpgs again over here if you're going to be strong enough you're going to be able to move forward and forward advance and advance in order for you to get more and more resources out of this game it welcome to idle games tv and let's check out the legend of all star this is going to be an idle rpg now this is going to be your main game you're going to be able to go in different kind of fights but unfortunately you're going to get stuck depending on your level so definitely use this quick battle mode every time that you do have the possibility in order for you to be able to level up quite quite faster okay so every time you use quick battle even with the gemstones this is going to be the fastest way for you to be able to progress in this game now the fights are quite quite similar you're going to have up to five different kind of heroes that you're going to be able to throw in different kind of battles and you're going to have the gate open over here eventually now in the gate you're going to have daily different kind of fights that you can try you're going to be able to uh, advance over here depending on the level depending on the strength and you're going to be able to place the best heroes that you have and you're going to try to do their best simple as that probably have played similar games now some of the heroes over here are going to see that have similarities with most of those anime games but it doesn't matter as long as you're going to play it and enjoy it it's going to be your own thing so keep in mind this is going to be an idle rpg you're going to go eventually afk you're going to get the rewards you do not have an ad in order for you to double up that income what you do have over here is going to be quite quite a lot of game modes in order for you to get more and more resources in order for you to be able to level up those heroes now unfortunately unfortunately and probably it's a pay to win game let me know in the comments below because it's going to be hard for you to get the same copies of the same heroes in order for you to start them up in order for you to be able to pass specific level barriers now besides these dailies you're going to have the limit broker over here which is in a way a maze that you're going to be able to play over here uh, quite quite simple you're going to have the invasion over here this is the maze sorry the other one is the maze sorry this is the maze now unfortunately i got my ass kicked over here i died and i do not have so many heroes in my party but you get the idea you're going to be able to choose between different kind of fights recruit different kind of heroes and go forward and forward in different kind of levels this is going to be the hall of fame you can challenge but it's not going to be open daily and you're going to have the mirage over here now you're going to have up to five different kind of fights right now i have put skip fight in order for me not to keep it that long and over here you're going to be able to kill everybody you're going to get different kind of questions now what i would go for i would go for the first answer every time it doesn't matter if you're right or wrong because you're still going to get some resources but if you know the answer definitely answer it now also from the vending machine you're going to get different kind of offers as well so watch out what kind of offers you're going to get because some of them are going to be quite quite useful and at the end you're going to fight with the big big boss in the middle if you're going to be strong enough you're going to be able to go to the next mirage floor and so on i'm not going to keep you because definitely you understand this now besides that you're going to have a guild eventually you're going to be able to fight the guild boss unfortunately it's not open i do not know why but hey who knows and you're going to have the possibility to upgrade some sort of relic over here if you do have enough resources in order for you to increase the hp and the attack of your heroes now you're going to have this main main window over here and in this main window you're also going to have the infinite tower the one that you probably remember for mo from most of those idle rpgs again over here if you're going to be strong enough you're going to be able to move forward and forward advance and advance in order for you to get more and more resources out of this game it's not going to be that hard so if you have played this one for the drop a comment let me know how far you reach a simple simple game with some game modes that are similar with most of those idle rpgs which kind of drives me crazy but hey this is the game and definitely you should give this game a try okay give it a try because it's definitely a decent game but for sure you can find better and better idle rpgs over here on this channel so if you're not yet subscribed subscribe to the channel and daily you will see a new idle game most of them are idle rpgs so give it a try now guys i'm not going to keep you over here i'm going to go back in the main game and almost forgot you can jump in multiple battles over here in this game as well so probably you remember this feature for also from also other idle rpgs here it is a five star hero okay four stars okay probably this the, this guy looks like uh, mr beast from uh, animal x <laughs> if you remember the cartoons 
okay over here mall uh, you do definitely need to have a higher higher level in order for you to participate in other things as well and also you're going to have the arena over here where you can be uh, you are able to fight with other players eventually if you have played enough matches you're going to be able to just skip the battle which is going to be easier but you're going to need to play this in order for you to be able to rank up in different kind of systems and so on and so on it's not going to be that hard they you're going to have 1000 free draws but you're going to need to have a specific level in order for you to have those 1000 not what i said my bad and every time you're going to have that specific level you're going to be able to choose between 30 different draws okay uh, this thing also i found in a uh, different kind of uh, idle rpg and over here requires me level 58 if i'm going to be able to claim it okay so i'm still going to need to play it even more besides that a lot a lot of events from here are going to be able to get different kind of rewards here it is i'm going to go for her because i know that i get her okay let's see what i'm going to get oh a lot a lot of emails that i definitely forgot about those and keep in mind you're going to need to level up your heroes quite quite a lot now guys if you have played this ornament for the drop come let me know how far you reach and for sure don't forget to subscribe because daily you're going to see a new, a new game over here. Until next time, take care and be safe. Bye.